what we will try to do in, the, in this communication, don't blow for my accent, huh? you said, huh? you are okay. Uh, so when, we, when I, I, I have the pleasure to arrive here, it was um, almost two years ago, we start to discuss for sure with, uh, with Offer, with, with Anna, with uh, Jan, several people about the question of archives of, uh, of archaeology in, in the Levant. Uh, and particularly archives of uh, French French team uh, which uh, we, which has been involved in the past here, uh, and to know exactly where where are these archives. First first step and second step. What what kind of history we can try to build uh, with uh, these archives? So. For sure, the French Center uh, is, is have some people are well known, uh, particularly Jean Perrault that you have in the middle with a, with a nice smile, and uh, Jean, uh, voilà, Jean, 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 Jean Perrault, the founder of the, of the French Center, has let us a lot of archives. Ma major part of these archives has been transferred to Nanterre in Paris, and uh, there are, now there is, a, there is an index of, uh, of these archives. Uh, these archives are coming by two ways. The first way is uh, by uh, the French Center itself, uh, in 2000, 2012, something like that, uh, and uh, after the death, and, and uh, his widow uh, has also given another part of these archives. And uh, for instance, Fanny Bocantin, that a lot of you know well here, is trying to, to build program around Malara, for instance, you know, to, because for sure, something which could be very important is to have a better idea of these archives, to digitalize major part of these archives to have a copy that we could uh, transfer uh, against here. So it's a first step, it was, uh, it was our idea. But uh, also when we discussed with Jan particularly, the idea was really to, to try to have a, a better understanding of uh, is Jean Perrault that we know quite well, uh, and who is the founder of Science Center, who has uh, published his own autobiography. Unfortunately, I think it exists only in French, but it could be interesting to, 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 try to, to do a, a, a translation. Uh, so we know quite, quite well Jean Perrault, is a quite fascinating uh, character, but we have to try to understand if this character of Jean Perrault is in, in, a, in a continuity of, uh, of the presence of French scholars in, in, in the Levant since several decades. And, and to try to understand why he has uh, chosen to work in that way, or in that way, or in that way, or the direction that he has, uh, that he has uh, taken. So Jan has uh, done uh, great work in, uh, in the French archives, conserved in, in, in several uh, places, like the Musée de l'Homme, like the uh, Bibliothèque Centrale uh, du Muséum d'Histoire na 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 Naturelle, to take two, two examples. And what we will say now, 99% is, uh, is due to that guy. Okay, so me, I'm just here to introduce in few words, but after, Jan will give you really the, the core of, uh, of, our, uh, uh, of our talk. Oh, sorry, it's uh, my uh, it's my it's my Russian bushery which said that uh, sausage are arrived, <laughs> but uh, I don't need it for the moment. <laughs> so, particularly well, some uh, one, one, another 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 people another character needs to, to be introduced is uh, is Jean Neuville, uh, uh, René Neuville. No, it was René Neuville. Uh, when, we, for instance, when you, you, you have this, uh, this uh, recent article by Orange, the pioneer was a diplomat, and the diplomat, here you have a picture of the diplomat, not in, uh, in the better situation. Uh, he, he died in, uh, in 1952, and Neville played, for sure, uh, an important role in, uh, in, the, in the beginning of, uh, of the prehistory in, in this area. You, you, know, oh, you know very well Neville. Garrod is maybe most well known, and some work have been already done, and I speak uh, under the control of, uh, of Mina on, on Garrod, but uh, Neville played also a role, and, uh, and it was interesting to try to better understand the role of Neville in, in the beginning of the prehistory and the relation between Neville and Perrault. Because we know that Perrault arrived here uh, in uh, 1945, uh, first at the École Biblique. He had, he had not very good real relation with uh, Père de Vaux, but he, that's what he, he said in uh, his autobiography. And then he, he has been in touch at that moment with Neville and he shifts from antiquity, great civilization, which was uh, his uh, first uh, objective when he arrived here, to prehistory with Neville. And then he started to work with Neville at the end of, of the 40s, and he really he, he became very soon attaché uh, at the CNRS, and after, in 1952, uh, 1951, he, he became a researcher, official researcher at the CNRS, and he built a mission, Arche mission prehistorique française here, 
which will which, which will uh, be more and more important and particularly I, I shift just a, a little in uh, in the mid mid 60s he has built a uh, RCP uh, recherche collective programmée it's uh, you know french people like re very much acronyms so we have a lot of acronyms some recherche collective programmée has been uh, labeled by the CNRS funding by the CNRS to work in all the Middle East, so not only in, uh, in the in Southern Levant, but also in, uh, in the Northern Levant and, and until Iran. And uh, Perrault uh, has taken the, the head of, uh, of this uh, RCP 50, number 15, and, uh, and during approximately 10 years, this, uh, this, this, this group of, of, of people with Perrault at the head have worked in, 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 in several places of the, of the Middle East. I go quite quickly, I'm sorry, but for, for that, in, 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 at that moment, during the 60s, for sure, you know already very well uh, the major part of the work done. Uh, it was um, at the end of the fuya <coughs> of Malacha, the fuya of Beisamun, and also the start, the restart of the fuya of Kavze with Bernard van der Mersch that Perrault hosted here. And at that moment, we know that there is uh, already a lot, for sure, a lot of collaboration between Israeli colleagues, Jean Perrault, still with the Institute of Paleont Paleontology Humaine. And we have, for instance, this very interesting archives found by uh, Jan. And this is uh, the, the letter of re recommendation of Moshe Stekelis uh, to the Institute de Paleontology Humaine, to Jacques Tixier, for a young uh, researcher, uh, uh, offered by Yosef, uh, who arrived in uh, 1966. Uh, in, uh, no, it's the letter of author himself. Is it the letter of offer himself, but he talked about Stekelis. He is talking about Stekelis, and you have the second, the other one, right? uh, and, and here you have the the, the answer of Tixier and the answer for, of offered by Yosef in French at that time, saying that we at that will, time in French, in fact, yes, voilà, exactly at that at time. That time. <laughs> voilà. So, <laughs> voilà, just to tell, okay, this is uh, this this moment of the mid '60s, very important. So now we will go back <laughs> back in time. And back around those, this, this different character, we have said about Neville, died uh, more than one decade before. Moshe Stekelis, who is still alive at that moment, and who has been really in touch with, with Neville during the 30s. Another character also very important is Labbe Breuil, uh, who, who came here in uh, 1932. Three, three. <laughs> uh, anyway, he is a real archivist, not me. Me, I'm just, uh, I'm just tataillé. Uh, I'm uh, just tataillé. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, so, uh, tataillé is a character uh, in French. French. Very French. French. Very, very French. Very French. Okay. We, 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 French we, we, is we won't. We, we, we won't translate. So Breuil, who, are, who came here in uh, during uh, at the beginning of the 30s. And now, with uh, several archives uh, that uh, Jan has, uh, has, uh, has discovered and studied, uh, in, uh, as I told you, several uh, f found of archives in, uh, in Paris, particularly, and around one case study, uh, which is a relation between Neville and Stekelis, and particularly around one very important discovery, which is Kavze, we try to understand all the, this important moment of the 30s during the British mandate, moment where French tried to do also a French mandate on prehistory in, in this area, and we, we will try to explore this, uh, this window of time, which is preparing what will happen after with Jean Perrault. Yes. <coughs> Thank you very much. Excuse me. Uh, so, in uh, 10 minutes, <coughs> maybe more. Uh, <laughs> 15 minutes. 15, maybe 15. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, um, the, the pro our issue here, in fact, is, um, is the uh, role of Neville during the 20s and ma part, mainly the, 50, the 30s our prefiguration of a mission, a mandate hidden uh, under the, the official mandate of uh, British government of antiquities, uh, uh, especially on prehistory and not against, but uh, aside of Dorothy Garrett works. Uh, but who is French, who is British, it's so complex because for example, the Dorothy Garrett, of course, he considers in the part, first part of his career as a, a student. And Breuil, in his autobiography, said, uh, uh, Fu ma première élève sérieuse. And then Dorothy uh, uh, can have support of, of, of Breuil until uh, the war, uh, and especially for his position in Cambridge in 1933. So, the, the question of nationality is more complex, and it's even 
complex and, and more complex for Shtekelis himself. Bray said, uh, du Proche Orient Jérusa de Jérusalem, me vint Shtekelis, où il occupait ainsi que sa femme de menu poste à l'université hébraïque. Il m'avait été envoyé par Zeligman, donc sent by a British professor uh, de l'université de Londres, uh, London University, israélite russe d'origine, ayant combattu les soviets dans les troupes blanches déportées en Sibérie. Je sais seulement qu'il avait, avant ce calvaire ou presque, découvert et commencé à étudier sur le littoral, etc. etc. So, you can see that Stekelis for Bray is a good travailleur, like he said, and uh, in fact we understand that, we are about to understand that Stekelis can be considered as a French student because for one year he was in Paris in 31 and 32 and uh, after he supported his PhD in Paris in 35 and for Bray it is one of major and first students. So um, now uh, how the, the, the issue is in fact in two stage attempt the social political equation which command the formation of this hidden mandate by first asking about its institutional and scientific condition of possibility before examining obstacles including personal ones that made this attempt an impossible and finally unachieved or aborted experience. So, um, Francois said that uh, there is many uh, archive funds in France for Neuville, you can see it's a little bit difficult because it's inside the Department of Prehistory and not in the archive of the museum. And it's some fragments, in fact, because Neuville papers are, well, not so bad preserved, but many files were th flow away, kept by some uh, researcher, following researcher uh, and for for example offer uh, we don't have uh, the proof that some files uh, are uh, well kept in the museum Musée de l'Homme and especially for Kavze in the Neuville papers in the Musée de l'Homme there is nothing on Kavze nothing uh, only some correspondence but if you read all the correspondence then you can see the, sh the, the real shadow of relationship between the person and I try to give some um, some new, maybe new, I, I think new because these papers are uh, uh, not very well known. Um, why talking about an, unfi an unf unofficial mandate? Indeed, we must first of all answer to a double question. Firstly, all the French Orientalists archaeological tradition has came to pay attention to prehistoric times during the 20s, even a marginal attention, on the one hand thanks to the potential, potential that Palestine represents. Secondly, how, on the other hand, and conversely, French prehistoric science, itself largely focused on the national territory until the 20s, came to consider Palestine as a new prehistoric province, able to be explored, if not conquered. It can therefore be said that Neville's role in the interwar period was that of an unofficial agent of prehistoric France because he was at the crossroad of various institutions and commissions, as Perrault himself mentioned in uh, the, the Neville obituary in the SPF bulletin. You know, il était non seulement le représentant officiel de la France, mais aussi et non moins qualifié celui de la science française. And it's uh, the ambiguity between France and fr fr French science, in fact. Uh, and in fact, he was president for many years, Chloe know that, of the Palestine Oriental Society. And in fact, all his excavation uh, in Palestine were supported by the Institut Paléontologie Humaine in a colonial way of, um, in a colonial manner, in fact, uh, like the Musée de l'Homme. And he was a Delegate General de la SPF, it's, so it's just a, a scientific society, but uh, there is a kind of, um, yes, representation. Uh, <coughs> in fact, Neville is a kind of middleman, a colonial middleman. Um, and it's, you know, but 
if you have time, we can talk about, of course, all the predecessor of Neuville, Paul Emile Botta, Charles Clermont Gano, all diplomat and archae French archaeologists in Palestine, in Jerusalem, and who use archaeological activity to make an indirect rule on territory. On terri in fact, archaeological, yesterday, like today, is a way of politics, of conquest territory. We all know that perfectly. And so, uh, in fact, uh, our Neuville say, do the same thing, in fact. So, um, uh, uh, but the problem is that Neuville, uh, um, when he became, when he, he died very, very soon, at 52, very, uh, very young, in fact, 52, it's very young. You know. uh, yes. yes, of course. Uh, and he left um, uh, an image very ambiguous, in fact. Why? Why? Um, if not negative, but merely negative, because he was close to Bernadotte, and so in Israel it's not a very good uh, figure, and he was in favor of the internationalization of Jerusalem. Okay? Um, it is a reason to consider him as an anti-Zionist. Mm, it's very hard to say, but so it's a Catholic, uh, real, uh, and he has some uh, prevention, as we can say in this main uh, uh, publication in 1951, he said, you know, terre de contradiction et de paradoxe, elle se prête aujourd'hui, today, à the resurrection of a, 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 of a old people, um, uh, et on laisse périr un autre. So, it's very hard. It's clear, but hard. Okay. Uh, it's, we are in 51. Um, déjà, elle avait envoûté les croisés, etc., etc., etc. But, in fact, in this avant-propos, in this preface, the scholars who Neville thanks to, his first, he, he, he talk about, at the name of the Institut Paléontologie Humaine, it's not him, but l'Institut Paléontologie Humaine who excavated, and all the scholars, all the tributes are to Israeli scholars. It's 51, it's, <laughs> it's normal, but we have to mention it. Uh, and of course, on the, uh, and, you know, on the cover, uh, you have the name of Bentor and others. And it's 51. It's very early, 51, yeah. I think. It's so, it's very early. Uh, and the problem is, at that, that time, is a general consulate and the new embassy uh, in Tel Aviv since 49, of course, uh, when France recognized Israel, uh, uh, restrained his own archaeological territory. And in fact, Neville, um, uh, the problem is the position of Neville has to, in the future, on the Israel creation, uh, must be uh, precise, but I just mentioned for uh, uh, for the reflection of all of us. Okay. Um, in fact, um, the question is how uh, this hidden mandate can be approached. Um, uh, during the 20s, Neville wasn't be able to obtain support of the Syrian Antiquities Department, of course, but he, he, he put his hope on the Institut de Paléontologie Humaine and you can imagine the strategic role of Cavze because uh, at that time the Institut Paléontologie Mien is one of the. Uh, uh, there is no uh, maybe uh, a beginning in England and in South Africa, but the paleoanthropology doesn't exist in the 20s. Only in France, with Marcelin Boulle, who create in fact the the uh, the, the the study of uh, old. Uh, fossil or human fossil. So, uh, talking about fossil in the 20s is a, it's a manner to uh, attract the power, the French uh, expertise on uh, prehistory. So, uh, in fact, <coughs> uh, uh, the the beginning of the of the of this adventure, in fact, is clearly linked 
to the discovery of Galilean man. Because in the same year, for the first time, the Service des Antiquités de Syrie put an interest to the prehistoric time, because you know it's a conservateur du Louvre, a Syrian uh, period, they are nothing to do with prehistoric. For us, it's only uh, garbage. Yes, of course. For like uh, today, like today. <laughs> Uh, no one in but yes of course like today yes i know <laughs> uh, but, but in the same years in the same week that turville petrie discovered the, the the famous the so famous uh, man of tabga or of galilee um, uh, the congress the french congress in damas and jerusalem uh, is hold uh, in just three weeks after the discover of Pet turville petrie and in the report uh, this discover is mentioned, and now uh, in France or and in Syria, we, uh, all, all, uh, we almost knows that um, prehistoric time is very important. And uh, in fact, in the Journal of Syria, uh, a, sh a shy birth of interest grow. Uh, you, you can see a report on Picard uh, um, <coughs> publication. In, in, in German, of course, and uh, on Stekelis, even on Stekelis' first publication, uh, Prehistory in Palestine, which is just an inventory, and in fact, uh, uh, René Dussault de l'Académie des Inscriptions, RD, said uh, that it's a very good first uh, job. But uh, in this wave, in fact, around the Galilea man, uh, came until Paris very soon and by an anonymous article uh, published in L'Homme Préhistorique, it's a journal uh, in concurrence with the Société de Préhistorique Française because uh, found by the uh, Mortier who are the losers of the first great war of prehistorian in France. Okay. Uh, and uh, honor to uh, Oh no, <laughs> the first publication in the SPF was the Conference of Dorothy uh, in 1930. Uh, but Dorothy is a very polite person, and in this conference, you know, she said, Les premiers travaux préhistoriques en Palestine sont dus à des Français. <laughs> very polite, thank you, Dorothy. Uh, but it's totally wrong, uh, or to more, maybe more, more complex. Uh, at the beginning, uh, we, we, uh, we want to speak to you maybe two hours, so we want to uh, speak about Louis Larté, but François whoosh, throw away this old ghost of the 60s, Louis Larté, the son of Edouard Larté, uh, uh, the 80s, 60s, uh, who, who, who is the, the discoverer of cro -Magnon, but uh, to the, the first geological uh, survey of the zone. And we continue zone. to forget Larté to restart. Yes, we continue. We continue, we continue. Okay. So, after that, we are uh, in the SPF, a big, big, very big report on Picard's work, because Picard is the real founder of uh, an ap a prehistorical approach on, uh, at the international, of course. Uh, and uh, uh, it's very interesting, but we, we don't have time. So, just a sketch, uh, a, a graph to see how growing interest number of pages in Société of Bulletin de la Société Préhistorique Française before the Second World War. And especially the man who appears more and more is the so-called René Neuville, who, who even now uh, a member, he, he, he does not a member of the uh, first of the Société Préhistorique Française, but all his article, 15 in five years, between 1930 and 1934, uh, before discovering Kavsey, are mentioned by the secretary of the society. And on all subjects, Acolion, the beginning of the uh, uh, Age des Métaux, but the beginning of agriculture, in fact, Neuville is on all front. Okay. And, um, and he published on all support, especially in the so-called Revue Biblique. Uh, in 1934, we published his first synthesis but offer came back on this first classification by Neuville uh, later. So, uh, and on this road, maybe person has forgotten, uh, especially Father Nasrallah, who he published in the, in the years of the, in the SPF, uh, many three articles on uh, Ein Karem 
prehistoric sites. Uh, it's a Greek Catholic, in fact. Uh, uh, it's other hidden agent of the French presence in uh, the Levant. Okay, but Breuil uh, himself recognized that in five years or maybe ten years, Palestine was supposed to make a revolution or a correction of its own system uh, through the uh, uh, incorporable figure of the Rothi Garon. Okay, so and we have in the so Société Préhistorique Française. And a wonderful article by uh, an absolutely uh, unknown man, Jean de la Roche, who has just published one article, but on Palestine prehistoric, a very mystic, uh, a mystical article, uh, you know, uh, compare, of course, Palestine at the AZ, uh, uh, in uh, the article date of 1938, uh, uh, 1938, about the And uh, the end of the article is absolutely wonderful. Uh, vraiment, lorsque l'on étudie les innombrables estimates trésors préhistoriques, tant égyptiens que palestiniens, l'on est en droit de se demander jusqu'à ce quel point cette région, croisement des grandes lignes de migration historique, it's the same issue nevertheless, uh, n'a pas été depuis l'Antiquité la plus reculée, non seulement le croisement, mais aussi peut-être le creuset de nos plus anciennes civilisations, ainsi que le représente symboliquement dans le Saint-Sépulcre à Jérusalem la pierre dite le centre du monde. And two years before, Neville was named délégué général pour la SPF. It's, you know, friends are always very proud and very too proud. <laughs> and, you know, heroes, Syrie, Palestine, and Gironde. Uh, <laughs> Gironde is a quite a very it's small a, It's a department, in fact. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, and in fact, and it's more or less unknown, Neville, uh, during all this time, approach the British government, even if he's the vice consul, and Richmond named him in 36 member of the advisory bureau of the uh, director uh, the, of the antiquities of Palestine. But, but, and it's my second <coughs> and last part, of course. Uh, in fact, uh, we have a, a very very limited time because not not me not not even me because uh, in the February of 37 the civil war in Spain command the transfer of Neville in Spain and he leaves Palestine very quickly uh, and uh, it's the main factor in fact because whole all this hidden mandate shadow mandate in fact on archaeological Paleolithic uh, in one year, in, in two months, disappeared, vanished. Okay, and the problem is the first article published on the, on the Galilee was, I, I, I've told you that it is not signed. In fact, la race de Neanderthal en Paris is not signed. But, in fact, <coughs> it's, a, it's a novel paper. We can see that due to Perrault, in fact, it's his first article. So Neville was, has a prophet uh, in France to say, who, oh, be careful. There, there is a new man under, on the Galilee who is opposed to uh, establish the France priority primacy on old men. Romagnon, Chapelle au Saint, at the time. And Gibraltar, si on veut. Okay. But uh, this article, in fact, is very interesting. But, 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 <laughs> after that, uh, Neville came in relationship with uh, uh, our uh, Abbe Breuil. Uh, in fact, at that time, um, uh, it, Neville is nothing. Uh, he seems to have acted on, 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 on his own initiative and came into contact with Breuil in 1928. Uh, Breuil papers do not contain these old death letters, but Neville had become accustomed to keeping some of his draft. Huh? Uh, so we have uh, the original letter of Breuil and the draft uh, of the response by Neville. Uh, <coughs> and uh, Neville asked for advice. Uh, and uh, Bright gladly answers to him and suggests placing himself in the orb orbit of Dorothy Garrett. You can see here, une de mes élèves anglaises, hein, 
une de mes élèves anglaises, it's very difficult to read because Bray has a terrific scripture, but I am not the only one, but uh, with Arnaud Urel, uh, I can read uh, the Bray scripture. And, uh, um, très sérieuse, Miss Dorothy Garod, qui connaît le Père Vincent, the Père Vincent is evidently the, the main uh, Dominican uh, biblical school uh, teacher, uh, je vous engage à lui soumettre vos séries de silex. Uh, elle connaît très bien le paléolithique, etc., etc., etc. And um, au passage, Bright said that Turville Petrie make a scientific Roman. So, uh, yeah, here. But Neville said, and you can see that nationality are in fact play a role of course mon désir est que ces premières fouilles préhistoriques françaises euh, restent entièrement françaises and in fact Bray and Neville 5 minutes 5 hein? minutes ok, okay. Uh, and uh, after that we have many letters and especially I mentioned it for all uh, the lovers of Natufians the adoration love Uh, the, the, uh, of Anatution, me, I, 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 I'm, the, I'm the one of the uh, me, sectator of the Natufian religion. And so, uh, you know, Bray, in one way, after the passage of Miss Garod, uh, see some materials from school and Taboon and from El Wad and, and Shuka, suddenly. Uh, and he said, quant à son niveau microlithique, microlithic level, je ne lui trouve rien de néolithique, nothing of neolithic, but, but, we are in August 1928, hein? and Breuil is in Paris, but, it seems, il me sent, il me paraît un paléolithique final, un plus ou moins asilien tardenoisien, asilien tardenoisien, etc, etc. Ok? In 28, Breuil only with some materials, ok, etc, etc. Finally, IPH came in the course uh, for supporting the excavation. And uh, in fact, um, uh, uh, if Bray asked to Neville if he can find some uh, uh, art caves, but rock art caves uh, with Garrod, but nothing. It, he finds some um catafas, etc. But It's not the main period for Bray. Okay. Uh, the second act, after his first contact between Neville and Bray, at distance, in, they never met at, uh, uh, before 1933. Uh, how Stekelis enter in this circle? In fact, Stekelis was in Paris after a first experience in the Hebrew University without any uh, permanent position between 28 and, and 30. He came in Paris as a student, sent his CV, uh, curriculum vitae, uh, very inédit, huh? uh, unpublished. unpublished, unpublished, do not photograph, uh, and uh, um, uh, on his Russian experience, of course, and um, he wrote with Boulle. Boulle, in fact, is the mentor, the first mentor of Stekelis, and uh, In fact, Boulle recommended Stekelis at Neuville and at Breuil. Breuil came in love with Stekelis because he find him has a, a good relay uh, to Palestine. And uh, you can see Mr. Neuville, Stekelis wrote, était si gentil de m'inviter uh, à ses fouilles, etc., etc. Okay. After that, we have a very big moment. His Merci de ne pas toucher. Euh, euh, non, non, merci de t'écarter un peu. Uh, uh, we have a very big issue is the travel of Bray. Two weeks, very quickly travel. Uh, in, in the re comeback, in the way of comeback of Ethiopia, he, he passed two weeks to visit Neuville, Gerrots, all his students, and Stekelis. We have diaries, and in these diaries, we can see that he. You see, not everything, but many things. Shopka, especially, but uh, all the Carmel's excavation. Uh, three days in the Carmel excavation, as uh, we can see uh, in the uh, two in the in the Garrod's paper. 
de, de, de pire en pire. Euh, <coughs> ok. But the travel of Broy is just three months before the discovering of Kavze. The origin of the discovering of Kavze are not so clear yet. Maybe uh, with, uh, with a, a Catholic <laughs> uh, uh, web. <laughs> in fact, uh, uh, but uh, in July, it's certain. Here we have a letter the, the Neville of to Vaufray, uh, who announced the discovering in after the first day of excavation. The first calotte crânienne uh, is just in the coop in the section. section. Okay, so uh, this is the tremendous event that provoked the, the very famous crisis between Neville and Stekelis. It's so famous, but it's so legendary too, because we know, almost uh, all knows, to, uh, yes, that the crisis has a link with a rumor, with on a story between a man and a woman, uh, Moshe Stekelis and Madame Charest from the EPH, and it's a, uh, conjugal problem, but in fact, <laughs> yes, because Chekelis is, ma is he, 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 uh, got married uh, at this time, so it's a real, uh, it's a problem. Uh, and for French people, there is two the pro Catholic one. and Catholic one. It's not so uh, good behavior, but but in fact, it's 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 not it's ne not ne uh, neither true or false. It's another problem. The, 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 other, the other problem is Stekelis uh, come to be the scapegoat, uh, I think it's the r right word, uh, for a, a big, big war between Breuil, Boule and Vaufray, and is, was manipulated, him and Neville more than, than, than this. Um, and the problem is that Stekelis, we have it, the telegram, uh, recevant aucune nouvelle, adjure, pas laissé tromper, suis victime, calomnie entièrement loyale envers vous. Okay? Yes. What is the calumny? It's it's some difficult to say. You, uh, wait a minute, because uh, it's not so. Yes, yes, I have just a minute, but thank you. First of all, Stekelis is in fact in Paris when the rumor grew, and this rumor said that. Stekelis, why is Stekelis in Paris? For his PhD and is one of the uh, relay of the Kavze discovery. As Showbroy said, uh, uh, there is an interview in the New York Herald Tribune. Stekelis refused to be interviewed, to be, to be respectuous for, uh, uh, against uh, Neville. But it's Bull who announced at the world the fantastic Kavze discovery. Uh, five and seven fossils in two campaigns. Um, so, uh, Stekelis a toujours parlé de vous avec reconnaissance, etc., etc. The problem is not Boulle, is not... No, no, no. The problem is Vaufray. Because Vaufray, I, it's hard to say, but Vaufray is a real anti-Semitic guy. Uh, so, uh, I, I let you read this very, very, very unpublishable, yet, or, or, maybe like that, like that, yeah. uh, without any comment and context. So please, I, I, I insist, please do not photograph, uh, <laughs> because, uh, in fact, uh, Vaufray uh, said that uh, Stekelis is a Jew, and so all the people of his race, etc., etc. Et uh, the, the, uh, it's very hard to uh, to read this. Um, uh, uh, yes, yes, je, je finis. Yes, uh, just a minute, uh, please. Yes, yes. Uh, so after this discovery, it was difficult for me to 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 pursue. In fact, because I understand that in fact, uh, Vaufray try to. Uh, to manipulate Neville, in fact, uh, and Neville n never give a real answer to Vaufray, but he, he needs him because Vaufray controls the found, Vaufray wants the succession of Boulle, etc., etc. It's very complex, and Bray uh, 
uh, who, who give the promise to come back in 35 to see Kavze site uh, is too tired after his uh, travel in China, etc. And uh, finally, in fact, until 35, the found were given for Neville and Stekelis by the EPH. So it's a, it's a real association. And the association never, never, was never dissolved, uh, even after the bad, uh, not so bad, but honorable mention for the PhD of Stekelis, because Breuil defend him, but here we have, and it's totally uh, unpublished, the original report of French academic uh, on Stekelis. Um, uh, PhD, and at the same time, it's true because we can finish on that. On on January 1936, uh, Stekelis supported his PhD in France, and two two weeks after, uh, Neuville get the Légion d'honneur, and for what mm. reason? But for because Neuville had never have a thesis, of course. Uh, for uh, also his scientific is scientific tra uh, travels. And when after, during the war, he was revoked by Vichy, and I precise that Neville was revoked by Vichy. It's just a, a, a little detail, but I think it's important. Uh, it was the same. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, of course, uh, uh, of course, uh, the, the, the depart of Neville was terrible because Vaufray try to uh, impose the absence of Stekelis for half <coughs> money for the pursuit of excavation. And after it's more and more complex, but I found and I told to you in 1933, in November, the war was declared, a letter, a letter, a draft of a letter, of course, because the original letter is in Stekelis paper here <laughs> on Mons Corpus, okay? So, uh, mm. Uh, the draft of Neville, who said to Stekelis, Mon cher ami, comme je vous l'ai déjà fait savoir, je serais heureux que vous soyez toujours disposé à prendre votre part dans la publication de Cavze. At that time, Neville is in Spain, and even in, after Gibraltar in Morocco, and partly revoked from uh, the war, is very far from prehistoric. And he said, Avez-vous besoin de papier ou de notes en ma possession sur Cavze? Do you need some papers, etc., etc.? So two years after the, the solution of crisis, the friendship in fact remains, but the, the friendship remains. But all the object of Kadze, it, it's well known, and in fact, it's one of the beginning of the second Kadze story with Vandermarsh and Perrault, were dispersed because <laughs> fossils are in the EPH until the 70s, as we know. Uh, with uh, Valois in the Valois hands, but, and it's a manner of ending. The fossils of Cavze are so important for French scholar, prehistoric scholars at that time, because when Breuil has a refugee in the Les Aisies in 1940, in June 1940, after the, the big fall of the France, the, the, Fran the fall of the France, in fact, uh, the definitive fall of France, he came in the Lazy with Le Cran Nazarien. So Le Cran de Cavze, the skull of Cavze, has spent the war in as a refugee in Lazy de Tayac. So effectively, Palestine and Dornoy and Dordogne was definitely connected and linked for the eternity as promised land of prehistory.